Okay. Next question. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Pat Eklund, and I serve as mayor of the city of Nevada. And I've been elected since 1995, and I serve on the ABAG Executive Committee. First of all, um, the, the concerns that have been expressed by the Supervisor Cortese is that there's redundancy and overlap. In my opinion, there is not. In fact, there has not been ever a statement of what the problem is. The closest we've ever come is when Steve Heminger on September 2015 identified three separate examples. Those examples that he made lends itself to development of a conflict resolution process, not a reorganization. So um, I have a lot more to say, but um, I'll have to tell you, I'm on the administrative committee for ABAC, and at that morning meeting where we were presented with the resolution in, in the beginning, um, we adopted it, and this is all on tape, thanks to Ken. And then Supervisor Cutisi says, wait a minute, this is not the latest resolution. And so then he presented it with a, with a phrase that was added, that we support resolution 4210. My question was, where is a copy of 4210? We did not have a copy. We did not read it. And then there. also have to say, I asked Supervisor Cortese whether or not status quo was an option. And he responded that meeting, yes. And I'd like him to address whether or not he remembers me asking that question and what his response was. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Chairman Cortese, there was a direct question about, yeah, I, I, I remember, remember it was saying that briefly. briefly. Yeah, I remember the same committee, resolution 4210 was distributed to everyone. Uh, the night before ABAG leadership uh, emailed me the final resolution with the clause in it that she's referring to, which I fortunately brought copies of with me to the committee meeting. Um, so I think that's a, a dispute uh, at, at this point that has no merit. Um, as to my position, we need to take concrete steps forward, um, but I'm not speaking for the commission. She's asking the question, is the status quo an option? And she directed that to me. Well, I have, that's I, not I, enough. I, for me, it's not an option, but for the commission majority or for the ABAC executive board majority, it may be an option. You, you